Do you want to build a strength-based profile for your college applications? Or do you want to know how to make yourself a 3D applicant? Hi, this is The Coaching Educator with Rebecca M. Carroll. Stay tuned. Basically, we're talking about reaching in and making depth out of an interest that you have. So you want to find something that you enjoy and stick with it. Colleges, again, colleges are looking to create a well-rounded student body. And they do that by reaching out and accepting kids who have developed themselves in a very creative way. So it doesn't matter what you've developed. They're interested in having students who have a commitment and passion, and they would really like to see that happen on their campuses. So it's important for you to understand that. So everyone has at least an emerging interest, and you gotta learn to develop and grow it. And you wanna become an expert, and, and, and that's the most, the key is how to become an expert and you want to actually have it become one of your favorite activities. And it doesn't mean that it's gonna be your career, but it could be such a well-developed activity, something passionate, that you're able to experience other people eventually at the college level, and when you get out into the work world that are interested in the same things. So that truly will help you. So how do you find your interests? Well, first, it's important for you to evaluate your strengths and weaknesses. And what is it that you're good at? What really makes you tick? I have several students who are musicians. Some of them are not involved in anything that has to do with their high school, high school music program because they really don't have time, but on the side, they actually are involved in the local community orchestras or they're playing in a small band, or they're getting together as a family and playing. So it's really, really important for you that whatever it is, wherever your strength lies, develop it. You wanna brainstorm your activities. What is it that you can do that you know that you would like to do, do within your adulthood? And that's the easiest way to evaluate this. It's not about selecting something that Gosh, I wonder what they want to see. No, it's what is, what is in you that interests you well enough that you can see yourself doing this as an adult. You also want to establish the goals to accomplish the plans. I will never forget one of my students who had never played the banjo and was very interested in learning. And he ended up taking a year, his senior year, to learn how to play the banjo. He did it so well that he was actually invited to compete at the national level. And he is still, to this day, playing that banjo and competing. So that was a really interesting thing to see. And he definitely, uh, it, that helped him when he was applying for colleges. So don't be afraid to try new things. And it took him a while to develop that, but boy, within six months of really hard practicing, talking to other people who are banjo players, taking lessons, doing a lot of things on his own, actually getting in front of people and playing, which was a really hard part at first, those are the things that helped him accomplish the passion for it he ended up earn, he just ended up getting more friends he ended up you know developing himself in a community that he had never been in before so it was really fascinating to see but that's what they're talking about so here's you can almost use a venn diagram as you can see on the screen so how do i demonstrate interest there's a part that you do so it's consistent it's a consistent activity there's going to be a part and i'm going to explain more of this where you donate, and that has to do with how you're flipping it into a community service. 
And then a there's a part that's to demonstrate and they all intersect. And that's the part where you become a leader and expert in it. So this will help make your college profile jump off the page by giving your interests this whole new dimension. So if you like what you're hearing, please subscribe, please share, and let's go into this in more detail. Give dimension to your interests. So create a common focus or theme to strengthen your profile. Let's use the example of baseball. So the do part of it is you play baseball, you enjoy it. The donate part is that, you're vol that you, you may potentially, and ask your coach, if you can volunteer to coach younger athletes, and that is so beneficial. Three, demonstrate, give batting lessons to earn money. So there you have three dimensions of something that you're passionate about, something that's a big interest of yours. So that is how you can become three-dimensional. You can apply this strategy to anything. So let's talk about that do. So what does it look like when you become consistent within an activity? You wanna choose something that excites you that you want to go to, that you're looking at spending three to six to 10 hours a week with. You want to be consistent within that effort throughout high school. And that's the key to this is really developing yourself and you wanna to strive to be a leader in a leadership position of some capacity. And that could be a quiet leader by helping your troop mates within your dance team that helps you to be identified as a mentor and a leader. So it doesn't necessarily have to be that you're a captain of anything, but it's important for you to be able to speak to the fact that you are a leader within your program. So this you can do within sports, drama, music, art, academics, competitions, debate team, any club, a school newspaper, the list goes on and on and on. So the third part is donating your time to a community service. So give your time and skills, and we're not talking about donating money. That's not the point of this. The point is that you're gonna be doing something, giving of your time and talent. So you wanna find an, orga or an organization, get a position within an organization that will help you be able to implement what you already have developed whatever it is, whether it's a writing skill, whatever the interest is, um, playing basketball with youth. There are many, many organizations. So you wanna look up the nonprofits in your area and see if you can bring your talent and interest into that organization and become a really good volunteer. You can also volunteer with friends. So ask some of your team members if they would be interested in doing it with you. That makes it more fun and it helps you to stay consistent with it. So if you like math, for example, volunteer to tutor at your local school. See if you can go down to the elementary school. If there is a charter school, if there's a homeschooling community, there are all kinds of ways that you can volunteer. You wanna demonstrate leadership, finally. The last piece of this is really demonstrating that you're growing yourself as a leader. So all you have to do is teach your skill to someone else. Start a club. If the no club in your area exists, under what you're thinking of doing or your biggest interests, and sometimes your interests are a little beyond what is available within your community, then start something and get a group together, start a club. You wanna create, or you can create your own company or a fundraiser. Interview for a job in any area of interest. It's really important in the medical fields or if you wanna be a vet, anything like that, it would be very important for you to job shadow, to actually look at what various doctors do within the medical field. What's the difference between a pediatrician? What does that look like day in and day out? Those are the pieces that they really like to see. If you are looking to work with animals, you need to have animal hours. So make sure you're volunteering in different arenas. So your local pet shelter, but also you can shadow at a veterinarian. So it's important for you to do these things.
There are many styles of leadership. Start by leading a small committee. So again, I'll remind you, you want to target an emerging interest and make it three-dimensional. If you like what you've been hearing, please like and subscribe and share this. If you have any comments, please make comments. We're going to be putting out tips weekly. So remember the three D's. Make it a 3D profile. Do, donate, demonstrate. Be creative with your activities. You, wanna, you want your application to stand out. And the way that that happens is if someone is so involved, they can really speak passionately about what they've been doing. And also, don't be afraid to read a book about something that you're interested in. So if you can find a book or an author or someone who's experienced the same things as you, pick that book up, read about it, explore related careers write articles, give it a dimension. So follow the 3D approach and make your profile stand out. This is The Coaching Educator with Rebecca M. Carroll and see you next week.